It's an age of abundance and abject poverty. Globalization and technological advances enable us to converse across the continents. Yet, we often do not know who our next door neighbors are. Markets overflow with goods, but hearts are emptier than ever. In a world full of such contradictions, can an ordinary individual make any difference? and take initiatives of change? The answer is yes. Nestling in the hills of Panjgani and overlooking the Krishna Valley lies Asia Plateau. The training and conference center of Moral Rearmament. Moral Rearmament is a worldwide fellowship which believes that every individual has a unique contribution to make to the transformation needed in the world, starting with one's own self. It believes that a new world begins to take shape when an individual finds an answer in his own life to bitterness and apathy, lust and greed. We believe better people will create a better world. In 1963, Rajmohan Gandhi and his colleagues led a nationwide march calling for a clean, strong and united India. Camps were held to train young people. One was held in Panjgani, after which the local citizens invited them to establish a permanent centre here. With only barren land, hard rocks, a few bushes and just 1800 rupees in the account, the construction started. The first contribution came from a widow in Pune, who gave 10,000 rupees, half the capital left by her husband. An Australian architect designed this complex free of charge as his contribution. He travelled to India 17 times at his own cost. Thousands contributed in cash and kind. In 1968, the first building, Valley View, was inaugurated. The second, Rock View, came up in 1969. These buildings can accommodate 200 people. Round the year, Asia Plateau holds dialogues, conferences and training programs for industry, army, educators, families, youth and children. Indian culture believes in Vasudaiva Kutumbakam. The world is one family. Asia Plateau also believes in thinking of and caring for the whole world. International conferences on agriculture, human rights, developmental issues, role of women in peace building and reconciliation are also held. An interesting aspect of all these programs is the way participants take on practical work. How does one begin? Perhaps you can go to a quiet spot and measure your life against the highest human values like honesty, purity, unselfishness and love. Introspect. Have you been dishonest? Do you cheat on your taxes or in expense vouchers? Do you do fair day's work for a fair day's wage? Are there any addictions that rule your life? Do you care enough for your family, your colleagues? Are you bitter towards anyone or just feel divided from or indifferent towards? Reflect on all the instances 
where your behavior does not match with the values that you expect to find in society. Then try and see how you can put things right. Apology and restitution are important. This experience of personal change gives one hope that things can change. It liberates and empowers one to pass on this spirit to others. It is this candle of vision and faith that Asia Plateau strives to light in every heart. The first investment was made in my own department, the rural development. So my gram savers were the first ones to be picked up. 540 gram savers were trained back to back. From 2013 till 2015, I think you must have done training of more than 1500 people. 1500 people have been trained of various departments. The gram savers used to be the most litigant and troublesome people. When I joined, there were at least a dozen cases filed by them against us. But in the last three years that we have trained them, there is not a single case filed against the government. Here I found a cure for the deadly bitterness towards my professor, which had clouded my vision and my love for the country. A simple letter of apology freed me from that preoccupation. That enabled me to launch a consumer association for health and for ethics in the medical profession, to promote breastfeeding throughout the world, to write books on child care, and to start an organization against corruption. After the training with initiatives of change here, I have changed my outlook towards my father because he remarried after my mother died. And after this training, I realized that how wrong I have been towards my father. And I now make it a point that I will give better contact with my father, call him more often, ask about his well-being and other things. In my village, there were two political parties. Because of the division between the leader of the other party and myself, the development work had stopped. I realized I was blocking the development of my own area. I apologized to him and today we work together. We established the first school in our area. I also took initiative in digging fish ponds and making our village self-sufficient. My inner voice says that I have to apologize to my nephew and also to my own sister so that there should not be any enmity in between my own elder sister and with my nephew. So through this initiative of change, I'd like to stress upon that it's not only about changing ourselves, but if we change ourselves, we can change the world and we can make the world a better place. I forgive a relative who had done wrong to us that freed me to take initiatives beyond myself. A friend and I invited a team from Initiatives of Change to Sri Lanka. We met many groups from different communities that open up many avenues for bringing healing and unity in our country. A leading Indian newspaper called Asia Plateau a beacon of hope. It is open to everyone, everywhere, irrespective of status, caste, race or religion. It empowers every individual to take initiatives of change. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, inaugurated one of the conferences at Asia Plateau. His vision is, if the 20th century was one of war and conflict, could the 21st century be one of dialogue? Asia Plateau is owned by Friends of Moral Rearmament India, a public charitable trust. But anyone who senses an inner urge to associate with its endeavors is needed. Mm -hmm.